Good day, and welcome to the 2022 Virtual Stand Award Ceremony, where we have the opportunity to celebrate our best and brightest in the Darlington County School District. Stand Awards stand for students taking action, not drugs. So not only do these students make it a priority to tell everybody about not taking drugs themselves, but they also promote that amongst their peers. But there's more to the STAND Awards than just that. These students show exemplary character in everything that they do and all they represent at their schools, with their peers, and in their community. You're gonna get a chance to hear about the finest and brightest in the Darlington County School District this year. I encourage you to join me in celebrating them on their awards, again, for the 2022 Stand Award Ceremony. So sit back and enjoy. The recipient of the 2021-2022 Stand Award of Lamar Spalding Elementary School is Phoenix Lilly. Phoenix exemplifies good character within the classroom and with talking to peers. She is uplifting while being realistic. She is self-motivated and focuses on how she can achieve success without worrying about others' input. In academics, she strives to understand concepts, not just master them. This allows her to dive deeper into concepts to be an exceptional learner. Phoenix takes a stand against drugs and is passionate about living up to her full ability. Congratulations, Phoenix. We are so proud of you. Spalding Middle School would like to congratulate Blake Hudson for being our 2021-2022 Stand Award recipient. Blake Hudson is an eighth grade student and a member of the academic challenge team. He's on the Spalding Middle School flag corps and on the Spalding Middle School band. This is Blake's first year here at Spalding Middle. He has taken the school by storm. On the first day of school, I remember him being very enthusiastic and spoke to everyone, which is not common for an eighth grade student, especially new to a school. I remember saying, I thought I knew all of my students. Why don't I remember him? Well, later that day I found out it's because he is new to our school. Blake asked if he could be a member of the school's flag corps. It was then that I learned about Blake's leadership skills and his dream to pursue a career in the United States Air Force. Blake took complete ownership of the flag corps, training other students on how to properly fold the flag and post the flag as well. But when did this young man learn all this? Well, we soon found out where Blake spends his Thursdays, weekends, and holidays. Blake is a member of the Civil Air Patrol, which is an Air Force Auxiliary. He has the rank of a communications NCO. He goes there on Saturdays also, where he participates in various community service um, services to include local festivals, training events, and emergency services. Blake is proud when he puts on his Air Force dress blues to, to participate in community service event. He's also flown an Cessna aircraft and has recruited another student to be a part of the Civil Air Patrol. Blake aspires to be a member of the United States Air Force. He, he plans on attending also the Air Force Academy or the Citadel. Congratulations, Blake, for being our 2021-2022 Stan Award recipient. Hello, my name is Dr. Marlon Thomas and I am the proud principal of Lamar High School. This year's recipient of the 2021-22 Stand Award is Kathleen Inez Garcia. Kathleen embodies all aspects of the Stand Award. She is a role model to her fellow students and to those in the community. As a cheerleader, Beta Club member, National English Honor Society member, and senior class president, Kathleen goes above and beyond to help her classmates. She leads the cheerleading squad and works with the cheer coach to make sure all cheerleaders are ready to go at every event. She also teaches them chants and cheers. She encourages her classmates to always do the right thing as president, and she shows them by example how to do so. Kathleen works hard at each and every subject and takes every opportunity to succeed that becomes available to her. 
This is shown in her high academic achievement and as a member of the Beta Club and National English Honor Society. She does this all with a positive and uplifting attitude. Her positive demeanor puts her classmates at ease. This allows her to better assist them when they're having trouble in a specific subject area. She frequently teaches her fellow students concepts learned in class and is very helpful and encouraging, which results in them learning. As a community member, Kathleena is always willing to lend a helping hand. She volunteers in many community events as well as school events that benefit our community. As the Stand Award recipient, Kathleena is a model to her classmates and community. Her impact here at Lamar will be remembered for years to come. Please join me in congratulating Miss Kathleena Garcia. Hi, my name is Kathleen Garcia, and I am the Lamar High School recipient for the 2022 Stand Award of the school year. As a fellow student, I encourage you to take a stand in what you believe is right and to take action to live a drug-free life. I personally take actions by being involved in my school, community, and church. Some of the clubs that I am involved in include the National English Honor Society, National Beta Club, and Student Council. I am also a varsity cheerleader and enjoy serving as captain of my team. As a leader in my school and my affiliation with church, I always strive to be the best that I can be and live a life fulfilled with high ethical and moral standards. In addition to what my character exhibits and who I am as a person, I've had many opportunities through my academics, such as being honored for good grades and participating in the 2021 American Legion Auxiliary Palmetto Girls State. My experience as a 74th Palmetto Girls State Delegate has afforded me the opportunity to receive scholarship funding and to meet like-minded women like me. I must say it was one of the most prestigious events I've ever engaged in as a student leader. Staying involved has helped me find my path. I will be attending Clemson University this fall, majoring in criminal justice, and one day I hope to become an attorney. As a senior class president, I hope to inspire my fellow classmates and others to strive to be the very best that they can be and to take a stand and be known for their courage and confidence. Good morning, my name is Shaquana Phillips and I'm the school counselor at Rosenwald Elementary Middle School. It is my pleasure to announce the 2021-2022 Stand Award recipient for Rosenwald, Mr. James Spann. James is a very respectful young man who exemplifies quality of a role model. He is very dedicated and committed to his education. He is very determined on accomplishing his goals. He is a helpful and responsible student. He displays a high level of citizenship in our school by helping with whatever task is assigned or simply volunteering his time to enhance the growth and development of our school community. He is a very passionate future basketball and football player who is hardworking. James understands the importance of never giving up on a dream. He follows school rules, demonstrates good character by being honest and dependable, according to his social studies teacher, Ms. Rowe Forrest. Also, according to his career specialist teacher, Ms. Carolyn Bruce, James is a joy to have in class. He gets along well with his fellow classmates and show respect to his teachers and others. I have no doubt that James will accomplish whatever he sets his mind to. Congratulations, James, on being Rosenwald 2021-22 Stand Award recipient. The recipient of the 2021-22 Stand Award for Bay Road Elementary is Bethany Johnson. Bethany displays outstanding character, looks to improve in academics while demonstrating positive behavior. She's very trustworthy 
and always willing to help others when in need. She always presents a smile and a welcoming attitude to everyone. Bethany understands the effects drugs can have on an individual and their success. Therefore, she strongly encourages her classmates to remain drug free, simply because their future is too bright to do drugs. It is a pleasure that I present this award to such a kind, caring, and mild-mannered young lady, Bethany Johnson, Bay Road Elementary, 2021-22 Stand Award. Darlington County Virtual Academy is proud to announce that the 2021-2022 Stand recipient is Gracie Isgit. Here's what Gracie's teachers have to say about her. In the virtual setting, each day in class, Gracie displays good character by being honest, dependable, respectful, and responsible. She is always eager to help her peers academically. Her academic achievements are noted by her outstanding grade average, which is a reflection of her behavior and lifestyle. It is such an honor to have Gracie at DCVA. Congratulations, Gracie. Continue to make us proud. The recipient of the 2021-2022 Stand Award of North Hartsville Elementary School is Bailey Raymer. Bailey is a delightful fifth grade student who consistently goes above and beyond to help others. She is a leader within her classroom and our school. Her beautiful smile brightens the day of everyone she encounters. Bailey is a remarkable and hardworking student who excels academically and socially. You will always find Bailey extending a helping hand to help others and encouraging her peers whenever they are sad. Bailey loves showing fellow students kindness. She volunteers to read to younger students and is always looking for new ways to show that she cares. She once said that it is important for her to make a difference and stand out by showing empathy and kindness to her classmates because it matters. Bailey is a member of the National Junior Beta Club, Morning News Club, and Girl Code Mentoring Group. Her friendliness and positive attitude will continue to inspire so many people. Her teacher states, I am honored to have such a conscientious and hardworking student. We are beyond proud of Bailey, and we know that she will continue to do amazing things. Congratulations, Bailey. Recipient of the 2021-2022 Stand Award of SECC Southside Early Childhood Center is Brindley Bone. Brindley strives to achieve academic excellence. Brindley is a friend to everyone. Brindley always cheerfully helps any classmate. Brindley is always an outstanding role model for her friends. She excels in all areas, academically, socially, and more. Congratulations, Brindley Bone. Recipient of the 2021-2022 Stand Award of Carolina Elementary is Kirion McCray. Leadership is not always shown by a person's words, but more in a person's attitude and actions. Kirion's smile radiates joy and his love for learning. No matter the circumstance, he always has a positive attitude and sets an example for his fellow peers. Kirion is willing to persevere even when faced with the most difficult task. He works hard and never gives up. He supports others, is a good friend to all, and truly cares about the staff and students at Carolina. At this preteen age, it can be extremely difficult to stand up for what you believe in and not be influenced or brought down by others around you. However, Kirion is not afraid to be his own person and speak up for what he believes is right. His patience, kind heart, infectious smile, positivity, and encouragement is what makes Kirion an inspiration to others. Thornwell School for the Arts Stand Award recipient for the year 21-22 is Leah Purvis. Leah is a class leader in her class and enjoys helping others at any time. Leah is respectful, dependable, honest, and caring. Leah exemplifies that good character and citizenship is important 
and others can see that in her. Leah is an honor student and a Beta Club member at Thornwell School for the Arts. I present to you Leah Purvis, Outstanding Award recipient. Recipient of the 2021-2022 Stand Award of Hartsville Middle School is Maya Harvey. It is my esteemed pleasure and honor to speak on behalf of Maya. I have known and taught Maya since her time at Hartsville Middle School as a sixth grader. When you think about the Stand Award and what it represents, Maya meets and exceeds those requirements. Her work ethic and character have launched her at a very young age. Maya is an A honor roll student athlete who is willing to work with others as a mentor. She maintains a healthy lifestyle that is mature in nature and is loved by her peers. She is a natural born leader in the fight against drugs. Maya speaks out and stands up for what she believes in. Maya has left a lasting impression on the students and staff members at Hartsville Middle School. I am extremely proud of you, Maya, and I, along with Hartsville Middle School, support you in your future endeavors as you take a stand against drugs. The recipient of the 2021-2022 Stand Award of Hartsville High School is Savannah Beasley. Savannah has demonstrated the characteristics of this award throughout her time at Hartsville High. As an IB course candidate, Savannah has taken some of the most rigorous courses offered in Dalton County. She has done this while also participating in various extracurricular activities at school and being an active member in her church. Savannah is also going to study elementary education at Francis Marion University in the fall. According to her teacher cadet instructor, Savannah has the potential to be a wonderful, caring, and dynamic teacher. Savannah maintains a positive attitude and approaches each issue with a positive outlook. She encourages others around her to do the same. Congratulations to senior Savannah Beasley for being the Hartsville High recipient of the 2021-2022 Stand Award. Hello, my name is LaKenya Jenkins and I'm the Director of Federal and State Programs here in Darlington County School District. It gives me great pleasure to introduce our performers for the 2022 Stand Award Program. Our first performer is Isaiah Davis. Isaiah is a senior at Mayo High School for Math, Science, and Technology. Isaiah is also a former Stand Award recipient. He will be reciting an original poem written by his teacher, Ms. Paulette Lund. Following Isaiah, prepare to be mesmerized by the Hartsville High School Foxapella Club under the direction of the Dynamic Director, Liz Olson. We have some amazing and talented students here in our district, and I know that you're gonna enjoy these performances. Thank you and enjoy. Sometimes there's trouble all around you and you don't know what to do. The people that should be there are running fast from you. You need someone to just lift you up and lend a helping hand. You need not to sit down and look, but to rise and stand. Sometimes your friends are noisy and you don't want to talk. They laugh, they mock, they ridicule, and you just want to walk. You need that friend who knows the way and can catch you if you ran. You need not sit down and look, but rise up and stand. Sometimes your smile just leaves you, just gets up and walks away. Sometimes your frowns, they lead you and make you lose sight of your day. They say you need the sunshine when the rain is what the clouds demand. You need not sit down and look, just rise up and stand. Sometimes your home life suffers and you don't know what to say. Sometimes the ones you need the most can't always show you the way. They say it takes a village that will shine throughout the land. You need not sit down and look, but rise up and stand. There are places I'll remember all my life, though some have changed, some forever, not for better, some have gone and some remain. All these places have their Moments with lovers and friends, I still can recall. Some are dead, and some are living. In my life, I love them all. Do 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 do. and lovers, there 
something new Though I know I'll never lose affection For people and things that went before For people and things that went before I know I'll often stop and think about them In my life I love you more In my life I love you The Stand Award winner for the 2021-22 school year at Pate Elementary School is Mr. Rayland Johnson. Rayland is an absolutely amazing young boy who is so very deserving of this award. He comes to school every day ready to learn and grow as much as he possibly can as a student and as a productive member of our community. Raylan serves as a role model for his fellow classmates, both academically and socially. Raylan leads by example, not by words. Raylan is a quiet and sometimes shy student. However, his positive actions speak loud and clear. Academically, Raylan takes a tremendous amount of pride in his work and all that he does. He always does everything with the best of his ability, 110%. From completing classroom assignments to taking district assessments, Raylan is the type of child who gives all of himself, all of the time, to whatever he is doing and or expected to do. Socially, he strives every day to be the best person and friend he can be. Raylan is always willing to lend a helping hand to anyone in need. He spreads positivity, kindness, and inspiring words in all aspects of his day in order to lift others. However, most importantly, Raylan is everyone else's biggest cheerleader. Raylan is a role model in and out of the classroom. Choosing him as the Stand Award nominee was easy because he meets all of the criteria as a nominee and a true winner in every way each and every day. It is my pleasure to introduce to you Brockington Elementary Magnet School 2021-2022 Stan recipient Kristen Colt Rogers. Kind, humble, and amicable are just some of the adjectives that come to mind when we think of Kristen. He is a student who supports his schoolmates in and outside of the classroom. He is always positive and believes in himself and others even in times of difficulty. Christian is compassionate about our Red Ribbon Week activities and stands strongly against the use of drugs and alcohol. Christian makes an overwhelming positive impact on the students at Brockington. On the morning show, he encourages his classmates and the entire school to do their very best and to stay drug free. He also reminds them of the importance of good behavior and how important academics are and to do their very best each day. There is not a day that goes by that Christian does not stop and impact someone in the school with the positive word. As a school counselor, I have noticed that Christian genuinely wants to know how your day is going because he waits for a response. If your day is not going well, he will leave you with something positive to encourage you. As Christian becomes closer to his remaining months at Brockington, it becomes a saddened time for BEMS faculty and staff, but we know this is one eagle that will soar into greatness. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you our BEMS 2021-2022 stand recipient, Christian Colt Rogers. I am thrilled to present Mr. Drayden Bethay as this year's stand award winner for J.L. Kane. I believe that Drayden is deserving of this award because he is a student who upholds the principles of his school and always demonstrates true Tiger pride. Drayden is a very disciplined student who follows rules and procedures. He is a very conscientious student who is eager to learn, craves new information, and takes pride in all that he does. Drayden displays good citizenship in his classroom and in his school environment. He is a very compassionate student who supports his classmates and is willing to assist and guide in any way possible. He willingly accepts correction and seeks to make himself better academically. In essence, Mr. Bethay is a true leader that epitomizes excellence. He is a confident, well-rounded student who is admired by his peers fellow schoolmates and staff members. His patience with others is commendable as he promotes peace and always tries to solve problems in an amicable way. He is also an active athlete in his community. He is a member of his church youth group. As a result of his outstanding qualities and being a high achiever, I believe that Mr. Bethay is an extremely deserving recipient of this stand award. I present to you, Mr. Drayden Bethay, J.L. Kane's stand award winner for 2022. The recipient of the 2021-2022 Stand Award for St. John's Elementary School is Christian Oliver. Christian serves as our current Beta Club president. He works hard, is very helpful, and gets along well with his peers. In fact, one day in class, a student appeared to be sad. Christian was the first to go over to this student and check to see that she was all right. Again, we at St. John's Elementary are very proud to call Christian Oliver our Stand Award winner. Thomas Edison once wrote, Our greatest weakness lies in giving up. The most certain way to succeed is always to try just one more time. This quote exemplifies the character of Aidan Owens. Anytime he is not down, he gets back up and, and gives greater effort over and over again. He is an example of a student that has a heart for learning and a mind to excel each and every day. Aiden is a hard worker and tries his best in every situation. No matter what the task, he is committed to excellence and displays great character in his desire to always do the right thing. In addition, when given constructive criticism, he accepts it well and makes the necessary changes to improve. Even when faced with the adversity of losing his father, he remained focused, resilient, and determined to complete all of his work so that he could make the AB honor roll. One of his teachers wrote, I am proud to be his teacher, and I know he would succeed at whatever his heart desires. I totally agree with the statement, and I believe that Aiden is destined for success because each and every day he continues to stand strong. Congratulations, Aiden. The recipient of the 2021-2022 Stand Award of Darlington High School is India Brianna Johnson. India is a senior at Darlington High School and part of our Early College Honors Program. She maintains honor roll while taking full college loads and honors courses. By the time India graduates this year, she will have earned 42 college credits with Francis Marion University and Florence Darlington Technical College. Focused on her future success, India also regularly seeks out scholarship opportunities to fund her future college years. Not only is India an outstanding student, but she is also an outstanding classmate and friend. She is heavily involved in activities on campus and is an advocate for her classmates, using her leadership skills to push for a positive change. All schools should have students like India, and we are excited to see the future success of this Falcon.
the recipient of the 2021-2022 Stand Award for the Darlington County Institute of Technology is Joseph Ringer. Joseph is a senior at Hartsville High School where he is an honor roll student. He was selected to attend Palmetto Boys State, is a football player, and an excellent role model for younger students. He has an overall 3.956 GPA and his Kate GPA is 4.086. He has taken a stand at school and in his community by getting involved and encouraging others to do the same. DCIT counselor Carmen Roberts said this about Joseph. I met him last year when he was taking digital art and design. He overheard me speaking about creating a flyer for a back to school bash and immediately volunteered to assist. Joseph communicated with me and collaborated with his peers to get the task done. His graphic communications teacher, Eric Tu, added, Joseph works tirelessly in my class. He is a friend to all and never misses an opportunity to make people happy. He helps his classmates on a daily basis. Among his accomplishments since arriving at DCIT, he became a digital art and design completer last spring. He will become a graphic communications completer this spring. He qualified to join National Technical Honor Society, is a member of SkillsUSA, is a DCIT ambassador, has his OSHA certification, and is Adobe certified in three areas, Photoshop, Illustrator, and InDesign. So for his academic excellence, his willingness to help others, and his leadership, the Stand Award recipient for the Darlington County Institute of Technology is none other than Joseph Ringer. Brandon Robinson is a young man who is full of life and energy. He's willing to do whatever he can to help others. He's filled with love for all his peers and teachers and is a faithful church member who enjoys praise breaks, being boisterous and singing gospel songs that uplift and embrace. His work in the community is far reaching and many people depend on him for necessities that only he can handle in their time of need. He's funny and outrageous, yet sincere and caring. This accolade is one that Brandon is the perfect candidate for because he is outstanding in his generosity and he loves to display his creativity and he never lets illness or negativity get him down. Mayo High School for Math, Science and Technology's 2021-22 Stand Award winner is Brandon Robinson. And thank you, Brandon, for all that you do. And congratulations on this most prestigious award. Annie Hunter has matured very much since being assigned to DCIS. She is concerned about and committed to her education and is seeking a productive future for herself. Annie has assumed a leadership role in our JRTC program and readily uses her role to remind her peers of their responsibilities in the classroom, the school, and in our community. I am very proud of how much she has grown. Greetings, I'm Carlita King, Assistant Superintendent for Curriculum Instruction and Assessment here in Darlington County School District. We'd like to take this moment to thank everyone for their participation, all of our schools and all of the award recipients. This particular award, the Stand Award, is one of our most honorable and most memorable recognitions. This particular award does not necessarily focus on academics, but it focuses on the character of each individual student, which is a remarkable, remarkable aspect for our students in Darlington County School District. So with that said, we want to take the opportunity once again to acknowledge all of our wonderful students and their impeccable character. And we're going to leave you with this particular quote one that has been quoted by many a long time. It was initially quoted by Alexander Hamilton. If you stand for nothing, you fall for anything. We are proud of our students again for taking a stance and we in Darlington County School District have taken a stance to do what's right when it comes to our children. With that said, we are DCSD proud. <laughs>